Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Grand Ages Rome with me, Grey Hunter, where I get the feeling that we're closing in on the end game here. So, I'm thinking that Race to Victory is most likely the split mission. I'll probably check out New Sensei's um, LP again, and yes, I'm giving him another plug because he's just that good. I'll probably check out his uh, LP to see where the split was, but I'm fairly certain that he did establishing Lugdunum before the split, so we're going to go with that one and hopefully we'll be able to still choose to go with uh, Gaius Octavius, because he went with Antony, if I remember correctly, so I want to go with Octavius just to see if there's a significant difference between the two mission paths. For science! So Antony, what do you want us to do apart from, you know, establish a city? Can you, can you believe that Caesar's assassins can. can walk the streets safely after murdering the people's champion? Those bastards! Give me the strength to drive those sons of death out of Rome! I will chase them to the ends of the earth and leave them crucified on the Via Appia. We must be patient and lay in wait for now. The assassins have the support of the nobles and the senate. As a close friend to Caesar, you may be in danger in Italy. I will send you to Gaul. We have loyal friends there. Go to Lugdunum and establish a new colony there. Okay, Lugdunum. There you are. That's how you say it. I thought it was Lugdunum, but... Eh. Anyway, uh... Yeah, so there's a bit more empire building going on here. Cicero wanted to empire build as well, but so does Mark Antony. So what does he want us to do? He wants us to build 50 houses, achieve a total production of 100 goods. Yeah, easy. Achieve a total production of 50 iron ore. Should be fairly easy. Achieve 75% in all satisfaction. Not too difficult. And have a... Yeah, of course. <laughs> have a total local production. Well, have a total production of plus 51. Ah... <sighs> At least he's not asking us to get money, so the taxes from the Senate won't be too bad this time around. Let's go! So is this a free build-ish mission, or is he going to give us a pre-built city? It looks like it's a free build. I like those ones best, as you've probably already all noted. <laughs> okay. So what do we got? Oop. Have we been here before? I don't think so. No, no, I don't think we have been here before. Are there any enemies on the map? Doesn't look like it. There's some ruins. Nope, doesn't look like there's any enemies whatsoever. And there's no time limit, so we should be fine on that count. Uh, let's start with the road down this way. Like that. Have we got a aqueduct anyway? We do, excellent. In that case, we'll start with you. I'll put you all the way over to here, just so we can secure our hygiene, etc. So, first things first, we'll need some insula, but I'll want to get a slave market as well. So, let's get a slave market to go over here. Yep, because that way we can access this iron. We can also build you, you, and a few of you. One, two, three brickworks, I think, and an iron mine. Where are ya? There you are. Iron mine. Okay. So, where are we up to on that iron thing? Eight altogether. That's okay. We can upgrade those. Cool. So, we'll probably use slaves a lot for this mission just to expand I'm gonna place our forum when I select it over here if we can cool awesome that makes me happy so next we'll want to get patrician below well, I want a patrician villa. I want a patrician villa. Bi bl bl patrician villa. When I learn to speak English properly. Because then we can use the temples effectively. As I'm sure I've explained before in previous episodes. But I just want to reiterate it. Just to make sure that folks knew what I was on about. So, we need some goods. And for that, we'll require some insulae. So, I'm going to get two of them to start. And use them to run 
a school, and a watermill. If we have any wheat. Do we have any wheat? Food. No, we don't have any wheat. Okay, well, in that case, use one of them to run a wheat farm. So we'll place that behind here, like that. And we'll get a third insula over... Yeah, yeah, this seems fine. And we'll use that to run a uh, stone quarry. So we've got plenty of stone to get ourselves some more equity houses. So, let's put a road across here like that. And I want to put the actual buildings the bakery and the butcher shop, etc. in here. And we'll place you there. Yeah. And I want to place the temple, Mars, over here. So if we place a do we build a tavern or an inn? We built an inn. Why can we not build a tavern? More lumber. Very well. Get me more lumber. And then we'll need one, two, three. Fit a four. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the fourth one can go. Oh no, we don't want to put the fourth one down yet. We want to get ourselves the um, tavern first. Patricians? No. No patricians, I'm sorry, but you don't get to work anywhere until... Yeah, there you go. Okay, you need sausages. Ah. I'm an idiot. You need meat to get the sausages. So, place an insula there. Ah. And build a pig farm. There. There we go. Much better. Okay, now that my idiocy is out of the way. State ended. Good shortage. Excellent. There we go. Much better. Now we'll build that tavern. And that equity house. Oh, I left a gap there. Ugh. I've ruined everything. Now, we do need get ourselves a bit more entertainment and we also require the Temple of Jupiter. So we're going to get the nice easy technologies, we'll get those even though they don't really serve an application in this particular mission. That's okay. We've got 40% religious satisfaction, 50% entertainment. We need a bit more entertainment, but that one's actually not too difficult to get. We can just uh, build ourselves an odium or two. In fact, I think we'll build one over here. Yep. And as New Sensei pointed out in one of my early videos, you actually get a bonus for having uh, more than one Odium. You actually get a global bonus for each one you have up to a certain point. Can't remember what the cap is, but you get a bonus for each one up to a certain point. And really, that's just fucking awesome. Now, I might get. Apologies if you can hear that. There's a helicopter passing over my house. Because helicopters are fun. So we might actually even get a second one over here. So if we build our another equity house like that. And if we build... Oh, I should put a temple there, I think. I am a fool. But you already knew that. Or at least you should have if you're watching this LP. So we'll place a odium there. Actually, we might even be able to get a, uh, a temple of Saturn or something to fit in there. Oh, yeah. Sweet. And then we can place... Hmm. Where can we put a patrician villa? Because we need one. Well, I want one. Actually, no, it could go there, can't it? Because it'll still be covered by all those things. Sweetness. I do like it when a plan comes together. Alright, build a cross like that. Coolio. You'll be staffed by those patricians. And entertainment should be up. Entertainment is up. 
cool. And if we're really, really, really lucky, we can get ourselves a Temple of Jupiter to fit in there too, if we're really, really lucky. Uh, we'll need you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Cool. So, how much money are we making? We're actually not making all that much money at the moment. That could be a bit of a problem. But we can go and capture milestones to earn more money, so we will do just that. And for that very purpose, we'll need one of you. Hmm, where to put you, though? Milestone captured? Milestone captured. Okay. We'll need to build one of you. But we need more money first. Are we getting more money now? Okay, now we're getting plenty of money. So we'll upgrade you like that. And does that give us enough? It does. Okay. So if we place you over here like that. And if we place... Okay, we need, we'll need to wait a minute. Upgrade you. If we can place you here, you should be affected by most of these things, hopefully. And if we're really, really, really lucky, after the Temple of Jupiter has been researched, we might be able to tuck it in there and then place another patrician villa over here. How are you doing on uh, religion? You're actually pretty satisfied. Yeah, everyone's fairly satisfied with the religion thing. Cool. So we also need to export 50 wine for Mark Antony, so we might... Oh wait, do we need to export it or have it? I can't remember now. Um, no, we just need to have a total production of plus 51. Do we have any of that? Uh, I don't think it counts as production. Yeah, it doesn't count as production if we already have it like that. Um, but the nice thing is that we only have to produce it. We can sell the excess. Or we can sell stuff like marble. Uh, slaves? Yeah. I'm not using all of those ones, so we'll sell them. And... Temple of Jupiter technology is not yet done. Still requires a minute. Well, that's okay. Cool. So, are there any other milestones? There are. Alright, go over there and capture that one. See if we can't get a better trade deal on something. Doesn't really matter what, but something. How are we going on the whole house thing? We've got 14 out of 30. It says 30. I thought we needed 50. Now I'm confused. He's doing this just to confuse me. I know it. I know it. Now I'll probably have to build another community over here to take advantage of these fields. But that should be fairly simple. D did you not? Oh, they're right there. <laughs> I thought they were a little bit further than they actually were. Milestone has been captured. Sweetness. Temple of Jupiter? No. The Temple of Jupiter is pretty small, so if we're lucky, we can fit it in there. And we're making a fair bit of money. The Temple of Jupiter also gives you uh, extra research, so that makes it fairly invaluable. We might even just expand our community this way and hopefully use plebs to get that one. Hmm. Choices, choices. Okay, so we can build it now. It's a little bit too big. Yeah. I suppose I could demolish one of the roads. Actually... If I got rid of this Equite house and flipped it, it would fit. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to build this Equite house here. And then this should fit there. Ha ha! I win. Uh, no, we need this one working. Thank you. And uh, we need this working. Don't need that working. Work everything else. Okay. Oops. And then we need a patrician. The road, of course. We require a patrician to run that. Okay, now you can start working. 
Wunderbar. Alright, let's get some hygiene in on this. So we can fit a fountain over the R. We should be able to put a fountain over here somewhere. Little one? No? Wait, yes, there we go. Little one. Uh, little one? No? Okay, well, close enough. Close enough. Okay, so we'll get a bit more extra uh, happiness from religion from this temple. It probably won't cover these fellas, but eh, they'll live with it. So can we get a better deal from you guys now? Yes, if we sell it to Carthago instead, we'll get a better deal. Done. And I'm going to move you guys over to this milestone as well. Is there another one over here? There is another one over there, but you need a bridge to get to that. So we will deal with that later, if at all. Cool. So I'm quite pleased with the little community we were able to build. It's functional. It gets everything done. 100% food satisfaction. These guys should be happy as well. Yeah, they should be within range. Awesome. Yes, they are. And thus was everyone made happy, and we got 95% religious satisfaction. I am pleased with this. I am pleased with the state of affairs. So, can we build a third? Uh, third farm. If we can... Can we then staff it? That would be the issue. Because you can't staff wine farms and such. Grape farms with um, slaves. I think we can fit an insula in here though. Yes we can. Okay, so we'll just do the pleb shuffle. Works for me. Okay, so we will need to build an outpost down here. Evidently. To take advantage of that. I should think that that would count as fresh water. I hope so. But I guess we'll find out. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Cool. Come on, finish it up. There are so plebs. They want to work there. They know they do. They're waiting. They're waiting very eagerly. There you go. Sweet. Okay, so we should... If I remember correctly, be able to just use one wine farm upgraded a few times to get that uh, production that he wanted. Ah oh, no, we need uh, 50. Okay, we'll have to use at least one then. But that's okay. We can get it done. So, what else have we got? No, there's nothing else really that needs doing. We have no research goal at this point in time though, so I'm going to get heavy plow researched and then do the backlog of this lot awesome a milestone has been captured excellent and that means you gentlemen can come back over actually is there iron over here there is but there's no farmland we need the farmland more actually I'll build an outpost here anyway because that way, at least, we got a little base. Now, get over here. We need this. Is there any more iron on the map? No. Okay, so the only deposits are this one that we're already working, this one, and this one. Speaking of things that we're already working, upgrade and upgrade. 18 out of 50. Not bad. We might even be able to swap it over, depending on these coverages. Oh, no. No, probably not. Let's tuck it in here. Maybe. If we can put another temple down. Oh, but then we need uh, patricians to run it. No, it won't fit, it won't work, but that's okay. Now, presumably, if we sell that wine, 
it won't take away from the production of it, presumably. So let us get. You don't have enough resources. Ah. The resources, let me show you them. There we go. Now we have the resources. Yeah, build that there. Now, where is our squad? Where are ya? Oh, there you are. You are coming. You know, I think we have enough slaves to get this. Yes, we do. And so, we'll get that. And we'll upgrade, upgrade. There we go, plus 20. I'm thinking that that's assuming that it's worked by plebs, though, so we might have a little bit of a uh, gap there. Now, if I upgrade you again, you go to 35. Costs a thousand. Yeah, that's worth it. I'll upgrade you once, and you once, just in case. I don't think we'll actually need more flour, uh, more wheat. Yeah, because we've got enough flour to run another one of our little areas, so I might even swap that out for an olive farm at one point. Because we can then get artisan's markets. Speaking of which, have we got them on the research block? Yes. Uh, I'm going to put them up to be next after the tax office. There we go. We're probably not even going to use most of those technologies, but it's worth it. So we've got a positive balance in terms of iron of 36. So really the thing is, will we hit the houses and the uh, goods production too quick? The answer I think to that is a resounding no. I think we should be fine. I do think that I want to delete this though. Now let's build our outpost over here. So it's it's within range, but it's sort of out of the way. I should think that this would count as a fresh water source. No, oh, it won't let you tell yet. Um, go over there. How much does it cost for a bridge? Five stone and two hundred bucks. Yeah. Why not? And then head over here. Because that's more farmland that we can grab, and I'd like to grab that other milestone, just in case. Now, speaking of milestones, we want to sell stuff from this trade post. Can we sell you? We can. How much are people willing to pay? 101 for 30 from Carthago. I'll take it. Now, are you still researching? You are still researching. 45 seconds, give or take, for the artisan's market. Pretty good. Now he just wants production of goods. We don't actually have to keep it going, so we can afford to build guys like this. Um, actually, let's build that first, and then we'll need a patrician villa over here. And we'll need you, 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 and nope, and you to go over here. And we'll need one. Come on, you know you want to. Two. Three. And four. Four. Awesome. And I want to build a temple of Jupiter. Over here. And a patrician villa here also. And a Temple of Mars. There. Plus another one of you. And a Prefecture. Prefecture ho! And another one of you. 
for a odium. Odium ho! Alright, then we need some insula. One, two, three of you, because I will be wanting to get. Oh, come on. You know you want to do that. Oh, one. One of you. Oh, we need some more wood. Well, that's just unfortunate. Actually, can we get another one of these over here somewhere? Hmm, technically yes, but uh, I think that would be sort of pointless. Let's see, is there any, are there any woods over here? There are. One. And two of you, I think. Yep, you'll be within range. And I'll grab another one of these, just to be sure that we've got enough. Okay, so that should be wine done. 45. 50. There we go. So we've got extra score points, we've got the food satisfaction, etc. We've got the goods, or at least half of them. And entertainment is still going okay. I want to get another entertaining area though. So let's get one of you there. Are you within range of everything? Yeah, mostly. And we'll get an odium back over here. Like that. There you go. You're doing a good job. And we'll need a road out here like this, because what I intend to do is upgrade this out the bazoomba. Like that. And get another one. So the other guys don't feel left out. Put that over there. You're not doing anything, are you? Yeah, you're not doing anything. Okay, good. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to go to the commerce section and we're going to get an artisan's market. Where is it? There it is. I'm going to get one, two of you. I'm going to staff you with one, two equites. Now, if I haven't explained it before, what the artisan's market does is it produces goods. Now, you might be thinking, but hang on, you're using goods when you're using the equites. Yes, but this produces more of them, and it also produces food satisfaction, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing. If we can, I want to get three of them. Ooh, we can. Hmm. I don't know if we can fit it in properly. Okay, let's build a road again. Well, let's build that one first. I'll build this one going like a that. And we will put in a third artisan's market there. We will get another one of you to go there. So we've got good satisfaction, etc, etc. We can place a fountain somewhere, hopefully. Fountain? Fountain ho! And another one over here. And one more there, just to be really, really hygienic. Okay, cool. So let's upgrade you a bit. And you're staffed, you're staffed, and you're staffed. So that should be plenty of goods. Yeah, 100 goods. All done. Got the houses. Now we just need the iron ore. Okay, well. Are you upgraded? I don't think we got the last... Uh, technology upgrade for this so let's plonk that in as next go away go away and four minutes eh four minutes is for bitches okay now where were we up to 41 did I upgrade you I did 41 46, we need four more, seriously? Four more. Okay, uh... Well, in that case, I'm just gonna do it anyway. I'm just gonna build 
this insula right there. And you're going to like it, Mr. Anthony. You're going to like it. Swap. Give me goods. Give me goods. 48. Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, I hate this game. Um, well, sometimes I do. Usually it's pretty good. Okie dokie. Uh, let's not sell these slaves then. Or we'll sell less of them. So we're currently selling 25. Let's sell 10 to Rome instead. There we go. So we should have some left. Can we build you close enough? Somewhere? Somewhere good? Not really. I, I saw the thing work for a second there. I saw it. I spied it. You son of a whore. Alright. Um... Okay. Well, this is tricky. Okay, where do you reach to? You don't need to reach that far anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place another insula there. Take over these logging camps. And I'm going to place you. I said you. Over here. Like, ah. Uh, no, that won't quite work either. Well, it'll work, it just won't work as effectively. Balls. Alright, go there. Swap. Which one's the most productive? That one, technically. Okay, this one then. Swap. Hmm. That's only producing 12. That's producing 25, though. Currently, we've got 34. So if I get rid of that, and I get rid of that. But I upgrade you and you. That should be okay, right? No lack of building materials? Good. Go away. Okay. And that, that means we can build one more slave camp. Right over here. Come on. There is a building nearby. See? See? Right there. Yes. Good. Okay. Now we'll cruise to victory. I suppose we could really expand into this area now, seeing as that we've uh, removed most of the slave labor from there. But, meh. Not really a huge amount of point when all is said and done. Uh, do we have any little easy text to get that done? Not really. Uh, let's go with those. Just to pop the popularity back up. Actually, we can hold a festival thing, can't we? Yay, festival! Everybody loves parties. And... Iron Mine, come on. Iron Mine, come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. There you go. Ding! Victorious. And we got the slave markets in Elysia. Okay, so the return to goal versus the race to victory. I'm going to have a look at New Sensei's uh, videos before I choose which one to do, but I'm pretty sure that that's the split. So, what did he give us? We can get markets in Rome, but that's shit. The Iron Mines of Las Medulas, kind of cool. Oh, okay, so 35 slaves. What did we get? 25. Eh, not bad, I guess. Cool. All right, so next time we will be choosing our side in the Civil War, I think. And so that means we'll be doing Race to Victory. But until then, this is Grey Hunter signing out, and I shall see you all next time. And thank you for watching.